Brutus Buckeye is one of the most recognizable faces hailing from THE Ohio State University. Everything he is and everything he does brings smiles to faces. But he's not a one-nut operation. It's time to meet the Brutus Brigade. The Brutus Brigade, in my eyes, is it's the direct connection between Brutus Buckeye and the Ohio State student body, their student community. Naturally, Brutus is kind of like everyone's mascot. Anybody that's associated with Ohio State automatically identifies Brutus and says, like, that's my mascot. But there was no formal way for us to kind of capture, you know, the needs of the student body uh, directly and try and fulfill those needs. Brutus, many people love him because he goes that extra mile for people. He'll stay an extra five minutes at an event to make sure everybody gets a picture. He'll take time out of his day to go to a hospital and surprise kids. So it's just things like that, that he goes that extra step to make sure people feel included in the Ohio State experience and bring them in, even if it's just for a little bit. And then uh, that carries over to what we do um, because if he's not able to continually grow and progress, um, then we, we feel like we've been stagnant. So we just kind of want to keep pushing the envelope and what Brutus can do around campus, around the country as a whole. The brigade's mission doesn't stop there. The team works year round for a chance to compete at the Universal Cheerleaders Association Mascot National Championship. Oh, the way nationals are scored, there is basically two parts. There is a video, which is basically just a highlight reel of everything Brutus has done throughout the year. The video is where the brigade really, really comes in handy because they record videos of Brutus throughout the year. They put together the highlight reel uh, and then it's sent off to the UCA, which is the people that run the competition. Um, and yeah, that just is a lot of time and effort. It doesn't seem like a two minute video would be so difficult, but when you just have to pick two seconds that represent a whole event or two seconds that represent a whole memory, um, it gets a lot more difficult to get the right framing, to get the whole emotion that comes with that. Is it good? Is it not? It's time to find out at the Family and Friends performance. The first public look at the routines Brutus, the cheer team, and the dance team plan to perform at Nationals. Brutus basically practices a skit since November when we submit it, um, but that is the first like public appearance that he has with the skit, so that's the first time everyone from the community, the Ohio State community, all of our friends and family can actually see the skit, and then Brutus gets feedback based on that, and we can make changes based on what other people think of it, what needs to improve, or what's like not translating well. Um, so it's like really helpful to have a public eye and an outside perspective for Brutus because then we can help him to elevate that in January at Nationals. The morning after the family and friends performance, the brigade regroups to sort through feedback received. The team also received some encouraging words from an alum. Dude, like, there has to be a climax. Like, from the one thing that I learned before I knew nothing about mascotting, watching obbies and oldies skit and stuff, is there was always, like, an end goal. That was the climax. And that's what we achieved last year, I think, from our first year. That was the big difference. There was the ending. Um, so make sure, I think that that's critical to have a skit. Because you want to leave people off my, like, oh my gosh. That was so cool, because it's hard to remember the first 30 seconds, but it's a lot easier to remember the last 30 seconds, so, yeah. You guys remember several months ago, several months ago, we were on a bus coming home, and we said, you know what? We want to go ahead and shock the world. We want to go ahead and shock ourselves. We want to be the best that we can absolutely be, and we are going toe-to-toe -to -toe and telling them that our best is better than anything that they're gonna put on the floor. I don't care. I don't care how creative they are. I don't care how cute they look. You, you are just as good, if not better, than anything that they're ever gonna put out on that floor. And if you do what you came here to do, I will take you over any mascot in the world, period. Coach Tim, myself, Coach Dave, we legit love you.
Despite positive feedback about the performance, the final results wasn't what the brigade wanted or expected. Due to a technicality, Brutus did not repeat as a national champion. You had a bomb You guys came together early. There was four new people in this team. You came out, you executed, you did a good job, all right? You know, at the, at the end of the day, it, it is, it was fun to put your heart in something, um, compete, it was a lot of fun. The Brutus Brigade got really close, Brutus got to perform, and that was a lot of fun to watch. Um, everything about the experience was very positive. Um, so, placement at the end of the day didn't really matter because we got to put on a product that we were really proud of. Now it's time to shift focus and think about how to push the envelope for next year. But more importantly, the focus is on you, Buckeye Nation. Brutus and his brigade look forward to all the scarlet and gray adventures ahead. Go Bucks!